Hello, beautiful women of South Central Lamp. My name is Giselle Fernandez. I'm a journalist here in Los Angeles. And I wanted to send you this message for International Women's Day of such pride and reverence for your maverick journey on this planet and all that you're doing. It is so important to listen to our inner voice. It's the God, it's the Shiro within. She is always there for you if you tune in and listen, and she will always guide you on following your heart, lead with your heart because you know what you know, and you have to defend yourself within yourself. You were born with wisdom. You were born with divinity within you. Um, my hope for all women is that we hear that voice that we tune in and we, yes, are aware of outside influences and forces, but that we deeply listen to our own inner heart, our yearning, our knowledge, our wisdom. It is there. Our first, our first priority is to tap into it and believe in it and to let it guide us. It's all within us. It always has been, particularly uh, women of color and indigenous women. We are born with the the indigenous wisdom within us to tap into the blood that coursed through the veins of the warriors who built the pyramids, who, you know, understood the sciences. That is our knowledge. We just have to tap into it. Um, what does, what makes LAMP so special? Oh my gosh, that you're being encouraged to advocate for yourself, your family, your children, and to listen again to that inner voice that is our superpower. That's our kryptonite. We are super women. We control such spending power. We control so much of the economy. We control so much. We have to control our voice and our own dreams and our yearning and believe in them and fuel them with all your passion. Um, that is my hope for you. And that's what makes LAMP special. It encourages you to do that. My hero is my mom. She did that, just that. She was born in New York to a mainstream world and she wanted to be a ranchera singer. And now she sings mariachi music and ranchera music in East LA and Mexico. She's living her own dream come true. Other heroes, Dolores Huerta. Why? She advocated for something bigger than herself, for her people that were essential workers providing food on our tables from our own earth. She understood the power of the boycott, the power of her voice and her inner wisdom. Rigoberto Menchu from Guatemala, another champion warrior fighting for immigrant women's rights and families' rights. She won the Nobel Prize. She is so worthy of inspiration. There are so many others. My own daughter who teaches me that she has the wisdom she came with from Guatemala within her. Anyway, I celebrate you all. I wish you all uh, your queen status. Wear your crown. I don't care if you're in jeans or in a gown. Wear that crown. You have the right to wear it. You are God's child. You are her grand, grand manifestation of the possible. I wish you all grandeur and the very best of who you are.